funny f speaking. I, I take a shuffle, put shuffle in car, and uh, I not pay for shuffle. If you haven't paid for something, then you should come back to the store. Don't you, don't you come at me, Pussycat. You sell me shit. Eh? <laughs> 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 nah, that's hectic shit. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then she lost consciousness. Down, down. Turn the beat around. Funny. She town. lost consciousness, and and we don't keep rocking. We don't keep, know if she's going to make it. There's no. Welcome to episode number five of the Muddy Michael Fully Actual Podcast. Okay, this is number five. We are one eighth through the season. Jeez, it happens quickly, uh, bro. I was like, just the other day, just the other day, it was like fucking Monday, bro, and now it's fucking Monday. Now it's, Monday. Monday. Also, it's Monday again. That's fucked. what. It's probably the same. Do you know what day. I mean? It's the same. Oh Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said that this morning. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same. So that just shows how slow time goes, bro. That is so honest of you. Matt's um, just come home from work again. He's just he's finished. He's trialing out as an Elvis impersonator. Didn't have time to change. But yeah, he's done that, and he's. Oh, I guess. And yeah, Michael's just finished at his at cricket training. No prostitution. Um, what? At cricket training? Nothing about prostitutes. Matt has sex with prostitutes. I no, do no, no. He's Matt been has, prostituting. I, had, I Matt have has, not. Matt has had sex with prostitutes. He doesn't like talking about it. All right, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's pretend that we didn't say that. Matt has sex with prostitutes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I wonder what one of Matt's prostitutes has, probably. <laughs> Connor cut all the prostitutes. <laughs> oh, shit. come on, man. No, I'm scared. It's a joke. Yeah, I know. I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> Just say it's a joke. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it. Come Put, on, man, please. No, I it's know you guys start. would do the same thing if you felt scared. No, about I would it. I would just say it's a fucking joke. I promise you. Look, I will say it too. Look, I have had sex with prostitutes as well. <laughs> Shut up. I've had sex with animals. Ma Michael has had sex with dead prostitutes. They weren't even living. They weren't prostitutes. <laughs> so it's all right. We're all in we're all this is a happy, safe space, all right? And right. yet don't worry, no, no, Matt hasn't actually had sex with prostitutes. I've had sex with a chicken. Uh, Look at me winking, winking when I say that. Uh, Look, it's been it's been a wild week. Um, we we all had quite a nice weekend. Yeah, pretty relaxing. Yeah, pretty hectic as shit. We filmed some hectic website videos last week. You know how piss when you get stung by jellyfish and you piss on it and it makes it pain go away. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Yes, yeah, it does. yeah, it does. It does, Matt. It fucking does. Read an encyclopedia. No, no, we can't. It's look. It's 50-50, you'll have to watch the oh, video. Yeah, yeah. We, look, we tested to see, since urine relieves that pain, does maybe urine relieve other pain in, in other areas, bro? Because if it does, the pharmaceutical company has got a big problem. What? And, and it's called Marty and Michael, baby. We might have just come up with the best painkiller known to mankind, and you don't know, that's it's what we filmed last week. It might not be out for a little while, but fuck you, everyone. That's coming out. You know what's out right now? Brown golf. Did you have a headache and get pissed on your head or something? No, no look, I'm not going to reveal. Right. There were some animal bites. I want to show, show, show Brown something. A body piercing? Yeah. I'm going to show you something. All right, let's see it. <laughs> reverse, reverse your back to crack. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe you showed him already. I thought you were going to wait till later on. <laughs> Is that a peach? Is that a peach's shirt? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but it, hey, it's don't proven, do that again. So it's proven that no, it's fifty fifty. You have to see there's some things that we does stop and there's other things that we does not stop. We are you saying a weed? We we yeah, like weed. urine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Urine. Like hello, hello. Uh, in le, French. Le, le, le. Hello, hello. Mm. In so French. brown golf is out. Yeah, yeah, brown golf will be out. Oh, it's been out for a while actually, because we're two weeks ahead, I keep forgetting. Also, Something cool happened. We did a video on Instagram. It's again, it's like two weeks old now, but a uh, the hundred meter nut shot. And uh, guess who fucking commented on it? Look, do you know Jeffrey? She, she doesn't know yet. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer commented on no, it. No, very close. Same, same words. Well, same let me guess. family. Let me guess. Same like, family. I got this right last time, eh? Yeah, yeah. Actually, let me have guess. a guess. Is it Johnny Knoxville? Oh, you do know. Yeah. Damn it. Which I, I was so happy you showed it. I know. I, you were gonna <laughs> I was going to go yeah. along with it. I was going to go along with it and be like, holy shit, he gets it again. Oh, I, thought, I wish you said Wendell Saylor. <laughs> 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 yeah. So Johnny Knoxville commented on our video and was like, like what did he say again? Bravo. He said, rise up. 
Rise up, everyone rise up. He said rise up. He said rise up. Stand against your government. Rise up, people, and stand together. We are strong and united. And it was pretty fucking sick and hectic, bro. He's full political now. Other than that, fuck me. We've been boxing. Look, I've been, I'm I'm trimming down. I've exercised 11 times, oh no, 10 times last week. What weight are you? 10 times. How good's that? And like just not eating out and just fucking going pretty hard. So it's going well for me. You ate out on the weekend. All the hard shit. No, I had. I, yeah, you're right. I, I I ate at three meals out of out of twenty one last just week. Be honest, and to usually be honest. But and they were healthy meals, thank you. Oh, well, and you usually, said that. And you <laughs> said that. Usually, it would be probably half of those would be eating out. Hey, computer and knee. How's your training going, Michael? Have you, have you Michael was has been coming to boxing now. I've been going to, and I think I've come to the decision that. I've just got to fucking do it. So Michael's going to do it. You realize now that you are a long way behind. Oh, yeah. I know, like, it's bad. And you're really much lighter than you should be right now. Yeah, well, I'm probably about 81. So, like, I'm like, and, and to be honest, when I said, let's do this, like, at the end of last year, it was this was still, like, t- 25 weeks away. That's why I suggested that we do it. So you doing it now, like, I, I don't want you, I don't want... I, I just because uh, I'm if you get hurt you're gonna go oh Marty you fuck look I, I, you fucking I told <laughs> do you do you reckon I could get real hurt no I, I don't think that any of us are gonna get really badly you hurt. get knocked out but that's about it yeah as long as we got the biggest gloves that you can possibly have no nah, right? 14 ounce not 16 ounce oh that's good we keep getting bamboozled with shit like that. yeah they keep mixing it up a little bit they change it from three two minute rounds to four two minute rounds now. Yeah, that's pretty bullshit. Yeah, so they must be must be doing lots of cardio. Um, also, what's the like lowest boxing ounce gloves that you can have? Is fourteen the lowest? Twelve. Twelve is the lowest. Oh, so we're in the middle. Actually, but, yeah, I don't even know. I think you can have good. ten ounce. What gloves. are UFC sure. gloves to compare? Four ounces, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Oh man. Yes. Look, you've just, I was confident, now I'm not. So. No, but look, <laughs> look, 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 I honestly think we'll be all right. You know, I we'll think, all- Michael, if you go to that place, if you think back to France when you're on that dance floor and you're shaping up to that French guy, just go to that dark, grubby place where you scrap. And just, and just like, yeah, but that's and then use handling. Your, and just then use evade. your tennis. Just evade and move because it's good my knees are right. I should be able to evade pretty yeah. easily. You're not going to be. Like you're not going to be fucking getting tired because you're only going to be in there for like 45 seconds at a time, and then you'll have like a a minute and four and and f- two minute break nearly. I think you yeah, could cardio you're your way tired. through. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get, get really really fit, tired. Fit, I think fit. both of you are, are are fit enough to push to push forward. Look and we, control the fight. I think that, that I, I think you'd beat them. I think, Don't say that. That's what am I wrong? I look, I think that that I, I'm like I'm more about it than you. I'm kind of so. I'm kind of relying on the fact that we are that we are we are naturally athletically gifted. There I'm going to say it. Like we are good at sport. We played sport a fucking shitload growing up. So we're just pretty good at sport. So I'm kind of relying on that as well as the fact that we can both get fucking fit as fuck in a short period of time. And and look, we'll see what happens. All right, and you're both so we're definitely, competitive. We as definitely well. have a an ex. They have far more experience doing, and far more. They've been boxing for much much longer. So I would definitely consider us underdogs. But I don't think it's going to be as one sided as as people think. And who knows? We could get fucking lucky. Get get the fucking win, and that's what we're going to be trying to do, brother. Try and get that win on the board, brother. I'm going to try and morph into a horse. And it's good promo for the podcast. That's literally why I did it. Is so Because we don't know any other Aussie podcasters. So I was like, it's a good opportunity for us to just get seen by oh. other people who listen to podcasts. We should try and hook up with the bloody brilliant beers, boys. All right. Yeah, they are They funny. train at Nitro. We they should, are funny, boys. I do. I really like them. You should pash one. I reckon try and oh, fuck if, the big okay, one. Okay, if you bring one on here, I'll kiss one. Really? Uh-huh. Sorry. All right. I do, but they are good. They are funny boys. So that's our life at the moment, guys. Filming some fucking good shit. It's fucking life's good. Fucking health is fucking f- yeah. Matt's Matt's just gone to the same person I went to, so he's about to undergo the same kind of um, uh, treatment course that got rid of my high blood pressure. Matt's got some I don't fucking have high blood pressure. Yeah, you've got some some gout issues, don't you? And I yeah. think these people can help you. So again, I know I keep saying, oh. I've got this secret and I'm not telling you guys how I got better. I will. I just want all the information first before I tell you guys because I don't want to just drip feed you guys some shit. But I I will explain probably, I'm going to say in two weeks, I'm going to explain exactly 
what well, it might be a bit boring, so you can skip past it if, if it doesn't apply to you. But I'm just going to explain exactly what happened, exactly what I did, and exactly where I'm at, where I'm at right now. But I've got to tell you, I'm feeling fucking great. Look at me. I'm not fucking tired. I don't have crippling anxiety in the fucking mornings. Oh, you don't even. Re- I didn't even realize how shit my life was before I started getting better. Yeah, well, I guess when you've got something God. playing on your mind that you're going to die all the time. And you're constantly reminded because yeah. your heart's just like. It's like, <laughs> it's like if that was just like a sore pain in your liver, you'd be like, oh, whatever. But like it's your heart. Yeah, you can't. You can't that fucks up once you're dead. Yeah. It's so annoying. I think how, liver's bad too. How do we not no, have two You just hearts. buy a new one. And liver regenerates too. Heart done. Heart done regenerate. I've done Red exactly. Bull. Anyway. Anyway. You've done any of these things. Kidneys are shit because they're, well, it's just, it's like you don't care about kids that well, much. Well, you got two. And knees, you got two knees as well. Why not have two hearts? I'll, I'll, I'll send them an email and see if they can start doing that, bro, because that would be hectic as shit if they can just, like, when you're, uh, like, a fertilised egg in a fucking upper m- if they can just get a little heart cell, a second heart cell, and stab it into the little fertilised egg, and then you grow, and then there's another heart on you as backup heart. Imagine having two hearts going. You fucking run all day, you fucking dumb. Yeah, that's don't you good. fucking see that? That's progression. Open your fucking eyes, bro. That's humanity progression, hundred percent. And also, open your eyes, bro. Yeah, have four eyes. Actually, people do. You the got more him. shit, the better, bro. That's why that one god thing's got like eight of them, brother. That's why he was so good. Eight he got so too. much shit done because he was doing eight different things at once, brother. Lord of Sheba. God, you guys are disgusting sometimes. Hey, Matt, you are sitting in a dress. Can you tell? <laughs> Which is not disgusting. It's just interesting. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. All right, let's move along. We got a fucking jam packed episode, everybody. We got a lying segment. We got Matt's dream diary. We got another great debate. Bamboozled makes a return. We got your voicemail segments. We got how famous are we? And let me tell you, we got some fucking responses and a half, bro. And we got a prank call so fucked that you're going to want to tell your grandmother that you hate her. Ooh. Yeah, because you don't want her to be associated with you anymore after having listened to this prank call. Mine's dead. I have three left. <laughs> I actually do, so back off. You are you the actually, youngest. You actually, in your dream diary, I noticed you actually mentioned your grandmother. Ooh. I had a dream. Yeah, I know. I, I, I read it today. So I was at a house that was your house, but it it wasn't like it the brownery. It was different. It was diff- I, knew, I knew it was different, but it was the way you guys film. Cooking mm. lasagna. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I may have been cooking lasagna, but anyway, <laughs> three guys knocked on the door and came in and I knew them as some sort of social social media sort of personality. You, you guys so knew racist. them. And, and they were all like, oh, hey, we're all excited. And they came in. What color, what, what, what ethnicity were they? I don't know. I can't remember. No, they, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Was Tell there a me. woman? Tell no. me. Well, no, there no, was women? no women. There was no women. They were all, they were all boys. So let shit, me tell dude. the story. Oh, yes, was there a man long. with tits at least? It's going to take too long. So okay. just let me tell okay. the story. Right. Let it be known. So we let him inside and um, and we're all laughing, having a good time. And one, uh, one king hit me. Was there sex? I had a king hit dream. <laughs> And it's I, a premonition. And I was laying unconscious <laughs> and they were striking me and I could hear you guys defending me, but I knew I couldn't move. I was I was oh, like sleep paralysis <laughs> shit. Well there you go. We've got more dream <laughs> shit coming. And so. like I could feel like the like this feeling of like the Don't! of them of them <laughs> like punching my head as I was KO'd on the ground. And I I, I was like, holy shit, that was a full on and but, knocked but, unconscious. But, but, but dream. it was all white men in your dreams. Can can we just point and that out? And not one fucking not half one woman no, thing. wait, so not one woman and not one other person of a different skin colour. If I had I don't know, Matt. It's kind of pretty so obvious what's no, happening here. I mean, okay? I'm not bringing was up there skin colour, you guys. That was are. female. <laughs> there's no animals, there's no females, and I'm pretty sure they're all white. This, oh man, anyway, very, very sexist man. dream. But anyway, let's move along to the sponsors, all right? <sighs> okay, everyone. <clears throat> you can be better. You can lift yourself up beyond what you ha- have and you can be a better version of you. The hair on your body 
is literally holding you back. If you walk, it creates something called drag, okay? And that actually slows you down. And that's not my opinion, okay? That's a fucking fact. It's actually science. That's actually a fucking fact. So if you are sick of being a slow, gross, hairy piece of shit, then maybe go to manscaped.com and use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. 20% 20% off, just like that. There you go. Boom. Fuck it. Have it for free. Go to manscaped.com. Use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20. Have it for free. Not really for free. It's 20% off. Stop being so slow and fat. Go and trim your hair and walk like a normal human being. I've seen. Haven't I? No one wants to be cousin it from the Adams family. <laughs> Bro, 100%, man. If I was that, I would be so... Fucking so upset. I would be suicidal. I'd get a haircut. I would be suicidal. Some people call me Uncle Festa. <laughs> Go to manscaped.com. They got all sorts of shit. You can shave your balls in the shower, bro. Okay? There. It's so annoying shaving your balls on the bathroom floor and then you have to sweep it all up and then you have to flush like four times because your roommates will see that you shaved your pubes and there's still a few floating around in there. (laughs) Just shave it in the shower, okay? Shave it all in the shower, stomp it down the drain, problem solved, okay? They got these special nut nut things on it so your skin don't get nipped as much no more. So manscaped.com, check their shit out and start moving quicker. Also for women. Women, women, women. It's mostly for women. I'll put my hand up. It really protects you. Well, nuts. go on. Put your fuck. Thank you. Put your hand up for women. We're not. That saves the dream. Look, he put his hand down as soon as you said put your hand up Man, for women. See, I'm all- So typical. You are so see through and transparent. Speaking you of. You wear a dress, <laughs> but you hate women. There is another great debate coming. So stay tuned. Which leads me to our second sponsor. And now this sponsor. <laughs> This sponsor is life-changing, okay? You need to shut up. You need to shut the fuck up. Back, back, back. All right? Oh, you come home from work, you're feeling tired, fatigued. Mm. You wake up and you're tired. You're low energy throughout the day. Not me. Or you have a bad mood or you're a bit irritable. You're not sure why. Shut the fuck up. That's you. Stop. Stop complaining. Stop it. Shut your Cut fucking out. mouth. Cut it out. Shut it up with your fucking teeth. It's your claws. Quit Grab it. your fingers and shut your fucking mouth. I'll say no to that. And go to AG1 and use our discount code fully actual for a free travel pack. AG1 has 75 vital nutrients and minerals that your body absorbs. You do it daily. You drink it. It's a powder. You put it in a cup. You drink it daily. 75 nutrients and minerals that you can't get from a normal diet. Oh, oh, I'll just go get a vitamin and blah, blah. Shut up. Preach it, brother. I just said shut up and you're talking again. Sit down and, and shut your fucking lips, okay? There is no way you can get what you can get from food from AG1. Okay? Get AG1 and try it. I'm not saying it's cheap. I'm not sitting here selling you a dream saying, yeah, saying that oh, shit. it's really cheap, okay? It's around 150 Australian Can't dollars a month. Health. Can't put a price on health. But that money, right? You fucking look after yourself a little bit, okay? Let's just say you're on it for 10 months, right? That's cost you $1,150, right? You don't go on it, right? You get sick, you're off work for a week, you gotta go to the doctor, there goes fucking two grand, So you might as well get on it and save yourself time and money! Jesus Christ, it's not hard. AG1, the link is in our description. Look, I'm, 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 right someone, I'm someone that does AJ1. It's actually AG. This is someone that doesn't do AG1. We have two different examples here. We've gone and done a scientific test for you. AG1, someone who does it, someone who doesn't do it. Okay? Do you want to look like the one on the end? I didn't fucking think so. So smarten up, bitch. You stupid fat bitch. Sorry. It's not directed at anyone in particular. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a huge fat bong break and we'll be right back with the lying segment, Matt's Dream Diary and the Great Debate, mate. <laughs> I'm glazed with sweat. I'm so passionate about our 
sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so passionate oh. about them. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> have a break, have a bong, have a bong, have a break. Here I go, baby. <laughs> this is the real shit. <laughs> we lie to you and your Again and again They don't trust us Oh look There's a Mercedes Benz <laughs> Not Not We need to halve that I'm getting over that one Really? I can't Really? I can't okay, wait. so Wait, is it because Marty's in it? Let us know no. Yeah, yeah just Michael jealous you, hates it when so I'm in You do all the jingles And it's no, no, not no, no, really about no, you It's okay So you want to halve it I really like the fame, fame. Yeah. Yeah. I got fame You got fame You want to halve it by 50% Because 50% of it is Marty I wish I was I should have changed Mercedes Benz That's what I'm upset about <clears> I like I your outfit repetitive. today It's very um, fucking It's Catholic It's American Revolution He's religious I find He's religious And cricket It's a revolution Anyway Look Let's fucking lie to one of our friends. Uh, I might just like, take this opportunity to point out, please like, comment, and fucking slam that subscribe button, bro. Fucking grab it around the neck and fucking crush its fucking windpipe, cunt. Yeah. Until it's a fucking like little thin bit of like just like straw. And then just fucking headbutt the like button and like shatter its forehead, bro. And then also give us a five-star review on Spotify. Please, like, I'm we on haven't my knees. gone up on Spotify for yeah. years, and now we got video on Spotify. So come, man, please, baby, please, Spotify's baby, a come new on. Spotify. Oh man, please, every if we can get that to three k, let's give him a bargain here. I will. Yes, I like this. Yeah, I like when he does stuff. If we can get it to three k, set yourself on fire. No, 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 no. I can do something like um. Never like my ideas. I will. I will let. Matthew Brown snot jet on my face. We probably won't be able to do that yeah, on we, camera, but we can blur it and do it. So that will happen. That will be okay, I reckon, on... I want something better. On That'll happen on Spotify. <laughs> so if we can get Spotify people, this to 3K, Matthew Brown will snot jet on my face. Yeah, so 3K, five-star reviews. We're at 2.8 at the moment, um, and it just keeps us going, right? All this engagement and shit lock. Um, it just keeps the wheels flying, keeps us ground, keeps it going, bro. Oh, how yeah. many followers would it – sorry, how many subscribe? Uh, how many five-stars would it take for you to cut your fucking hair? How many five-star uh, Probably reviews? this would be ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it'd be something ridiculous. Uh, how there. short? How short? Oh. Like like my short. Oh fuck, man! Probably fifty k. And 50, my short. All right, there you have it, guys. Fifty k five star reviews. He'll cut us to my length. And also, you said last week if we for twenty thousand dollars you would cut your hair. Do you remember that? Indeed. You said you said it. You said twenty thousand dollars. How short? I'm tempted to how short. Just however I want to cut it. Yeah, no, fuck that. You, you can't go back. We said this last week. Yeah. We no, said no, you would go back a, on it. There was a certain... Shave your head. I'm pretty structure. sure it was no, There was head. a structure to it. You could, I could have like strings hanging down or something. There was some length still. Look, I'm I tempted... I shaved underneath like a bowl cut I'm shit. I'm tempted to start a GoFundMe and seeing if we can get... Oh, like I'll contribute 10 grand. Matt will contribute six and then we only need four more from you guys and then boom, bang, done. <laughs> we need to look back at that. Because I swear there was conditions. I'm not shaving Can it. someone please let us know in the comments? Can somebody review our own? Yeah. Can let us on that sound comments what we said and what Michael said so we can move forwards with everything that we've done. What's our let's lie this, this week? week? Let's just go something. Let's go fresh. Let's have some fresh lie. You know? What about a meal? Oh, no, yeah. He works. Huh? He works. Oh, dude. A meal's great. He will answer. He's, no, he won't. I've, the amount of times I've rung him. Can we try? Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's very protective of a man. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> I like that. Hello? Oh, yeah, Emil, is, is this still your number? Yes. Oh, Hello? Okay, it's Marty. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Hey, man, um, how the fuck are you at work right now? 
Oh, sorry, dude. I'll be quick. But um, ba- basically we're um, planning a bit of a day out on the boat with the boys, like a golf first, and then we're going um, all getting on a boat after, fucking shitloads of beers and some other fun stuff as well. Um, and it's going to be in – what's the date today? I think we were looking at um, sort of um, early April. Would you be keen? <clears throat> I am keen. I just have to double check which weekend I'm away. Okay. I think I'm away maybe the first weekend. Of April. But if you've got a date, I'd be keen. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Um Oh no, I might be back then. I don't know. I'm gone away some point in April. Yeah, all right. Well, let's keep like so we don't have a locked in date, but let's just say yeah, let's yeah, just go just the thirteenth, fourteenth, and yeah, I'll um I'll chuck you in a group chat. And then yeah, we Definitely. everyone's going dressed as different animals as a theme to it. So, um, yes. um, so yeah, just dress up as a, as a fucking, I don't know, a rhino or something. That'd be good. I know what I'll be. What are you going to be? Can you tell me please? No, it's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, fuck. You know what else is a surprise? <laughs> what? This is a fucking lie, Emil. You, and you are it. on the podcast. Oh my <laughs> God. I can't I believe know. you believe that. We aren't planning a trip away, Emil. We're not doing anything from now until our boxing event. We're going to be sitting uh, at home doing nothing. And Matt told us to call you. I said you. not to ring you. You'd be at work. <laughs> and you'd devastate him. I am. I told you you'd be devastated. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emil. Yeah, we're sorry. I'm but sorry, but we, look, that's a good idea and we can do it one day. Yeah, we will. That will probably happen one day, just not in April. Emil? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I told you he'd be so innocent. <laughs> we're sorry. Imagine if we heard him getting fired in the background. <laughs> Get off that phone. I don't even know if Emil knows the lying segment of the podcast. Do you know the lying segment, Emil? <laughs> No, I don't even watch your podcast. <laughs> we just call friends and lie to them, Emil. Yeah, and it was your turn this week. They, <laughs> they call and just give you the simplest, like we're going to do this, and just, they're like, "No, nah, we're Just imagine lying. how fun that sounded. Yeah, there, there might have even been there was possibly strippers coming. I heard. <laughs> yeah, dude, and that's not real. <laughs> that is gone. That is definitely not. Happening. You will be at home that weekend, probably. <laughs> oh. Oh, anyway. watching watching dog races. Sorry. Anyway, sorry about that, Emil, and sorry to waste your time. We'll let you get back to work. All right. All right. All right. Can't wait to not listen to this episode. <laughs> 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 we'll fucking see you at UFC three hundred. Oh, <laughs> touche. He got us back there. Oh. I told not to ring him. No, that was fine. Dude, he's not really heard about it. Yeah, no, he's a busy not. man. No, yeah, busy, busy, busy. Oh, busy, so li- li- busy, li- busy, li- busy. Call the fire. Says, call the fire. Probably thought one of us. <laughs> probably thought one of us were dead, and that's why he answered. Oh, oh look, you it, sexist We had our pig. fun. We had our fun. Oh, guess what time? Yes. All right, it's time for Matt's Dream Journal. And this is a segment where Matt Brown writes down the dreams that he has so that he doesn't forget them in the hopes that one day someone out there can analyse them for him and tell him what the fuck is going on in that mind of his because no one knows and he's got a girlfriend now and he wants to figure it out and thump a few kids up it. What? <laughs> All right, Mr. Brown. Oh, yes. Now, you may, remember how you said you dreamed of your grandma the other day? So you must be on a like a week of dreaming about her because I've read through this and you are dreaming about your grandma again. Did you know that some people say dreams are really just realities when you're asleep? In other dimensions. It's a reality in another dimension yeah, and that you're exactly cross. It. You've made it over there, right? Because the DMT has been released in your brain while you're in REM sleep, right? And then you convert over to a different frequency and you actually enter another fucking reality, bro. So it's a reality. It's not bro. a dream. It's a real thing. So bro, you, Bill whatever Gates happens in this actually happens. Bro, Bill Gates wrote that, bro. Read it. <sighs> Here we go. <clears throat> <sighs> Yet another dream. Yet more confusion. (laughs) I'm still having trouble making sense of these dreams, but something from deep within my mind is causing them. Last night's dream started quite pleasant. It was night time, and the house I was in was completely silent. I was small and fast. I would dart from hiding spot to hiding spot. (laughs) From under a cupboard to under a fridge. From under the fridge to under the couch. 
My speed made me feel invincible. My hunger was starting to get the better of me, and I started sniffing the air. I caught a few weak scents here and there and followed them. I found a pea under the oven and helped myself. <laughs> I nibbled and nibbled and the pea was gone in no time. I sat silently momentarily, straining my ears for any sound of potential threats. Nothing but more deafening silence. I sniffed the air again and followed my nose. Oh, this time I caught the scent of something substantial. It stopped me in my tracks and I sniffed harder. Could it be? It smelt like... Jeez. Uh, my body coursed with excitement. I sprinted on my tiny forelegs all the way to the source of the smell. It led me into a bedroom where two humans were dead asleep. I made sure to move completely silently not to wake them and found my treasure. It was a large, square piece of cheese just sitting under the nightstand. I couldn't believe my luck. To make things even more ridiculous, it looked as though the cheese was literally served on a silver platter. It seemed to be raised slightly and angled toward up, upwards towards me. My hungry mind was far too focused on eating to concern myself with the suspicious amount of luck that had just come my way. I stepped forward and sunk my front teeth deep into the soft, salty cheese. It pulled away effortlessly, and I savoured it as it slid down my throat. I bit into the cheese again, with more force this time. Then, as I went to pull the cheese off of this silver platter, I heard a click, and within the blink of an eye, a large steel rod came swinging down at me. I had no time to react, and snap! I felt the steel rod sever my spine in half, and felt multiple organs pop and split in my body. My body was totally destroyed in the blink of an eye. The pain was immense and, and, and immediate. I let out a series of high-pitched squeaks. Squeak! Squeak! My upper body was now angled up and I could no longer feel my lower body. I didn't have, even have time to process what was happening when I saw the sleeping human wake abruptly from the sound of the steel rod plowing through my flimsy body. The human turned the nightlight on and looked at me. What the fuck? It was my sweet old grandmother. She put her glasses on and squinted at, at me as her eyes adjusted to the light. Oh dear, we've caught the poor little mouse. Looks like he's still alive. I might set him free outside. My grandmother began to pull the blanket off of herself and get up and help me. I felt some relief. Surely my loving grandmother will help me. Just as my grandmother sat up in her bed, a strange man sat up next to her. <laughs> he was a bald, incredibly muscular man. He looked like a full-blown bodybuilder, and I could see his bulging veins in his huge arms. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let the little fucking rot. I've got something better we can do now we're awake. This huge muscular man placed his hand on my grandmother's shoulder and pulled her back into bed. Oh, sweetie, I can never say no to you. My grandmother leant back and started kissing this man mountain. <laughs> Gently at first, but it quickly became passionate. Well, I couldn't believe it. I was in pure agony and the way the upper half of my body was snapped, I couldn't even look away if I wanted to. I squeaked desperately, trying to snap my old fragile grandmother out of her lustful mood, but nothing worked. Before long, this huge muscular man had removed my grandmother's dressing gown and had positioned himself behind her. Then I watched and listened as this enormous man went to town on my grandmother. He had no regard for her age and went at her like a jackhammer and as if she was in her 20s. The muscular man looked at me occasionally throughout and tensed his biceps at me. I squeaked and twisted but was completely pinned down by this steel rod. My grandmother and this man went at it for hours until eventually my injuries got the better of me. My tiny brain swelled with blood and the last thing I remember is having a seizure as this man screamed in ecstasy as he finished with my grandmother mother and she died when i woke up drenched in sweat and anxiety why was i a mouse in my dream why did i dream of my grandmother with another huge muscular man i had no idea but one thing was for certain that it was a wet dream and then, i don't know what's going on with it sort of your grandma It's weird that you've had like multiple dreams about it. There must be something subconsciously. Oh. Guys, leave in the comments any if you have any theories about what's going on here. Like these dreams are getting oh, really confusing. Man. Just let us know if you have any kind of knowledge oh. about how to interpret a dream. Because that's two dreams in a week about your sweet, sweet grandmother who's sadly passed. And I we don't want to think of her in that light. I just miss her. So Yeah, that was fucking great. I miss her. Oh. Maybe that's what it is, but it's weird that. Anyway, look, I let's still move have on. Three. 
three grandmom. Yeah, wow. That's Most nice. people only get two. I get three. Do you like them? Wait, I've got four. No. <laughs> He forgot one. I've got three. I've got three. <laughs> he you forgot like one die. Yeah, they're beautiful. Which one which, which one do you like the most? I can't say that. <laughs> you do no, have a I favorite like, No, no, I like them all equally. Come on. You have, you have a little favorite. Huh? Well, spend as much time with them as you can because once <laughs> yeah. they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, are you they, both yours gone? Yeah. All of mine are gone. All of mine are gone too. That's shit. Yeah, yeah. You can't like just actually. Pick actually, them up. It, was, it was shit because um, dad's dad's parents died when I was real young, so I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't even get to have the experience of a grandma. I ha- I like I have a vague like clips of memories from them when of I was them, like, like, like touching young. you and shit. Yeah. But um, did the, your other grandma brown, do shit ones. for you? But there, yeah, but my my mum's mum, uh, she was like the only. She was pretty much the proper one. I was had. she good? Did she give you presents? She was the best. Okay, yeah, I can see that. She Blow jobs. Best. Sorry, Blow jobs. Let's move on. It's actually called head. Let's move on. All it's right, guys. Flesh, yeah. All right, guys. It's time for the segment that divides the nation. Oh fuck! It's time <sighs> for the great debate. Hit it, Brown. Hit it like you want to. The great debate between mates. This is the great debate. Hate late. It's time for the great debate. Now, before we begin, I must remind you, okay? These are not our actual opinions. This is not real. These two boys, Matt and Michael, are just trying to win a debate, okay? Get that through your head. But if it's you're, satire. If you're easily offended, skip this segment, okay? Skip it because you're not going to like it if you're easily offended. Although if you're listening to us, surely you're not easily offended. This is not real. It's two people, grown men, having a debate, okay? We're test- it's like it- we're at school again and you're testing how good you are at debating. That's exactly right, Michael. So that's that. All right. Man, this is heavy. This is oh, fucking man, this always-, always... This always gets really intense. Yeah, okay, I gotta fucking go to my brain. I need brain. to fix my skirt. All right. Today's, yeah, my brain. today's topic is... Please don't be something... You should be allowed to hit your kids. Oh, yeah, this oh, is fine. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Just don't look, don't look. show him. Pick one. Fucking put, put pick. your hand in. Please, please, please be that. what I want it to be. Please. Please. I can't. Oh, so Matt is against the argument and Michael is for the argument of hitting kids. So Michael is saying that, yes, you should hit your kids hard. Hit kids hard. And Matt's saying, no, no, you shouldn't. No, you, you shouldn't. shouldn't. All right, Michael, since you are of the affirmative of the argument, you get your two minutes first, okay? Fuck, two minutes is a long time. All right, time. let's go. Oh, that's right. We changed it to a minute and a half. All right, oh, so yeah. you get a minute and a half. All right. Ready and go. Your time starts now. Scenario. You could be in the movies. You could be on the bus. You could be in the supermarket. There you are trying to do what you should be able to do without hearing a fucking disgusting, irritating, putrid sound where it's just Man, you're on the plane, you're stuck with that, okay? Good kids that are, fu- we were good kids. I got hit and then yeah. make sure, man, it happened to me. I was being smart to my uncle once, riding my bike, trying to make it out like he was flirting with another woman. And he came straight up to me and he just, Clipped me straight across the ear. Me and I got his son hit as well. <laughs> and now look at you. Now you're a much better man for it. Well, I've just got discipline. Time. Like I've been in the army. Time. Okay. All right. Look, not too bad. So. And that world number nine at Worms. Why well, Michael's Very good saying golfer. that all kids Shot are ninety sh- yesterday. Ma- so Michael's point is that all kids are shit, and they they should all be hit. Most. You did say all in there. But anyway, all, all right. was I exaggerated. I got passionate. It's most. All right, Matt. Are you ready with your rebuttal? Yes. Three, two, one, begin. Just like to point out that in your, if you call it a speech, uh, you didn't once suggest why they shouldn't be hit. You just said if they're loud in public places, they should be hit. <laughs> that's all you. That's all. That's all you've fought for. Okay. Um, now the reason why we shouldn't hit our kids is because they grow up being hit constantly and constantly, again and again, and they become violent. 
They become very violent and then they lash out in the wrong situations. So instead of disciplining their kids, they think they can discipline anyone. So you're saying that a child who is hit once will continue to get hit? Absolutely. I've just Googled. What what about what if a child gets hit and then just never repeats that behavior? I've just Googled, Marty, that 60% of all domestic violence cases were people who were hit when they were young. Well, that's cheating. I don't have any access to the internet. Well, you should have got some. All right. And also... The amount of kids with brain damage after being hit as a kid. Hard. Hey, it's incredible. Close so close. up to 70% of kids who were hit more than 50% of the time literally had more brain damage than kids that did. So Just how do you hit s- under the net. So how do you suggest we counter all this youth crime? <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, wait. Oh, it's not yeah. youth crime, Marty, but I Sorry. like where your head's at. So how do you- um, I think we need to counter by using more of our words, okay, mm. and not giving in to our kids. No, I want a chocolate oh bar. Oh, my God. Okay? I want a chocolate so bar. Close to <laughs> I'm so uh, close to fighting hearing. you, dude. He's, he's yeah. coming in. All right? Okay, so, like, if our kid wants a chocolate bar, instead of just giving him a fucking uppercut, let's use our words and say no and do not give in to our kids. Time. Time. I gave you an extra six I seconds. I get fucking... Okay, so we get 90 seconds now. Yeah. It's, okay. yeah. Let's no, see no, if you can come the, up with something better than supermarket tragedies. Now you get one minute and he gets one minute. Okay. okay. And go. Okay, I mustn't have made myself clear I was too passionate because I can't believe the world we live in today. Anyway, Marty, Mr. Moderator Man, would you say if you look at today's current world with how lenient and soft 99% of these helicopter parents are on their fucking little thing, now, would you say that it's a better world now than it was 20 years ago or a worse world? Yeah, look, I must admit that the behaviour of children, in my opinion, has gotten much worse since we've coddled them more. More coddling, worse behaviour. Case in point, thank you. And time. All right, that's a pretty good point. Look, it's but it's... Hit my time so I can uh, rebuttal, please. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Once again, you have not even, uh, even and talked about anything of the question. You just said the world's a worse place. That's all you've said. Anyway... Um, our kids, our kids, even if you're hitting them hard or soft, are traumatized by the amount of violence you're bringing into their lives. Okay. And clearly this creates a world of PTSD and they never break out of it. Now you could say that because you hit them, you're making them a better adult, but no, you're making them worse. You're turning them into violent creatures and they will grow up to rob and steal and hurt But people. don't you think that we were exposed to that kind of way growing up and are we violent monsters? Is the yes, world we know? we were. We were exposed to it, but we were exposed to it at a place of love and we've created monsters That's what through I'm that. Saying. Well, there's two, yeah. Hitting them is not the answer. Yeah, but love hits are fine, apparently. That's what he's just fucking True. said. No, 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 no. Anyway. Listen, <laughs> our, our parents hit us. Thank you for speaking point off. Take a point. You do right. it all the time. I didn't, so, I've that's that, that's enough. Time. So our, our parents hit us from love. Time. Oh. <laughs> so that's okay. Look, all I'm saying is if you assess that from hey, a hey, distance. Hey, whoa, whoa, he's still speaking. Is, you can't talk. Look, look, step look, outside. Look, guys, look, I, look, look at this, okay? Look at the fucking anger I have from being belted as a kid. <laughs> they literally hit me both, as a kid. Same. Both, both of you had some great debating skills then okay both of you we are I, improving i feel like i am biased in this i have my own personal opinion on this so let's get I, fucking cooper and ryan in to sit no, no they didn't hear it they didn't hear it, didn't hear it. So, so but it's okay you guys decide okay we're gonna as fully actual you remember this it's gonna take too long we'll find out in two weeks and then just you just pick one all right it doesn't matter who wins anyway pick, a, pick your opinion no if you want. No. But yeah, how can Advice they let us know? Come. Look, comment who you think Look, kids should be hit or not hit. Yeah. Or Michael or Matt? I just pick. want to put it out Yeah, there. yeah. Just comment Michael if you think Michael won that debate or Matt if you think Matt won that debate. Personally, I tend to think that we are too soft on kids these days and that f- there is you can you can be more disciplinarian without abusing that's what I fucking Getting reckon. real, I absolutely agree. We should fucking boot our kids. Anyway, look, this is what happens at the Great Debate. Look at us all getting real and vulnerable. Yeah, we need to be... <laughs> we need... Fuck <laughs> me, can't. Now we're sitting here being all fucking vulnerable. We would, we would we fucking cry. We need to. I, I am, there right. that was there need to be I some back I am actually hands. crying right yeah. now. Well, I had past trauma. Dude, hit I, me hard yeah. there. So I need some belt slaps. I need some backhands <laughs> and some kicks. Hey, I'm legs. actually against it now. I've decided. I'm gay. Oh, well, here we go. Bong break. 
Have a break, have a bong, have a bong, have a break. Here I go, baby. Real shit. <laughs> all, right, all right, guys, we're back. We are, as you can see, we are now blindfolded, and James is going to show you guys what the two items are. So, two of the items are yummy and normal, and one of the items is fucked and gross, and sh who knows how god awful it's going to be. And so, one of us three is going to have to drink it and keep a straight face, okay? This is fucking. Have we played the jingle? We have. We have haven't, you, have we? Have you done the jingle? No. Oh my god, let's oh my do god, the fucking jingle. jingle. Time. Let's do the fucking jingle. And it's also up near Darkabin. No. No, not me. No, not again. Oh, Please. Yeah. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh. I can't see. You've been bamboozled, bitch! <laughs> yeah, 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 check it. I say, you've been bamboozled, <laughs> bitch! Not me, not me, not me. Oh that man, is that is so fucking bugged. good shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Up near Darkabin. All right, so this segment, guys, like I was just explaining, two, we all drinks a liquid. One of the liquids is fucked, and we all have to try and keep a straight face, and we each try and guess who it was at the end. I'll briefly that had tell you. Liquid. I'll briefly tell you what the uh, things are because you can know. Okay, okay. Um, it's not liquids this week. It is food. <sighs> okay. Um, two of you will be fortunate enough to eat some delicious tuna in spring water. Oh. What? Yeah, well, it's <laughs> what? It's human <laughs> food. <laughs> Fussy little boy. And the uh, the third less lucky person will have a large spoonful of gelatinous dog food. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you can't eat dog yeah. food. Yeah, you can. I looked it up. You'll be fine. Are you serious? Oh my now god. I'm gonna show everyone what they look like because they oh. have to see. Okay, so James is showing you the normal food right now. I'm so I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> That's scary. Oh. And now he will be showing you the fucked other thing that one of us will be eating with a straight face. Please, uh, please, I just hope it's not too much of a spoonful because it's going to be really hard. Oh, dude, either way, I'm fucked here. Because I can't. Yeah, Michael's in big trouble. Uh, oh, he's Shooter. already gay. Oh, I'm not. So, I suppose now we'll. Uh, can we remove the blindfolds yes. now? As I suppose, can. Yeah, yeah, you can remove them now. I suppose considering you lost last week, Marty, you can be the lucky one to choose first if you want, or you can choose someone else. Oh, fuck, man. I'm fucked either way. <sighs> okay, um, I am choosing... Oh. Uh, the f far right. Okay. I'm choosing the middle. Okay, should we count down? Yeah. Three, two, one, do it. And blindfolds off. Blindfolds off and look at each other. <laughs> he hates both of us, so it's hard to tell. Because he would be doing the same face. Well, it could be me, though, still. <laughs> spoons down, spoons down. Or, like, hide them at least. Yes, I'm down. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just wait. Let me. Oh, I'm gonna head spin. Why is it so stringy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's oh, all stringy. Oh, okay. Let's all point at each other who we think got bamboozled. <laughs> three, three, two, two one. one. Did you get the dog food? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was gelatin shit. <laughs> Dude, I was impressed for a second. I was like, maybe you did get it. The stuff. <laughs> yeah, you would have done the same face with tuna. As I know. Well, I would have been. It was so hard Show to me chew. in your mouth. Show me in your mouth. I want to touch it. Can I Have touch it in your tuna. mouth? Go away. Oh, guys. <laughs> Have some tuna. We just had yeah. a bit of protein. I liked that. That was yummy, yummy. It's going to get me through. Um, all right, so that's fucking bamboozle. Michael oh. got bamboozled this week. Thank you very much for organising that, James. Yeah, what was the punishment again? I don't know. He could finish the can of dog food. Oh, fuck <laughs> that. What about the can of tuna? 
Yeah, what about if you have to have a mouthful of tuna now? All right, look. I guess that's <laughs> fair, but I will be pissed. At, oh. Mm, high in mercury tuna. Really? Yeah, really high in mercury. <sighs> and yeah, sitting in cans for many, many years before they go make it to a shelf. I moved you to can have can, You can have canned food in a in a can for years. So this is this fish is probably from the nineties. If um if it's the one that was in there that's my old can tuna, it's been fresh there for, tuna looks like shit. It's been there for like a year though. Yeah, it's quite hard and firm, this tuna. Very fishy, but enjoy it. Look <laughs> oh, at the colour. Yeah, it's Sniff very, it. very fishy. Mm. Oh, <laughs> very Fuck fishy. It. It's all moist. It's, it's fish. It looks flesh. like beef. It's fish flesh. It's actually beef. Fish flesh. It's fish flesh ripped from its bones. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Mmm, tuna. Oh, breathe out and smell the smell of it on your breath. Oh, tuna, tuna, fish, firm, hard, rubbery kind of meat. Oh. <laughs> And that's bamboozled, baby. I can't swallow it. It's so dry. All right, guys. Um, Let's fucking move right along, all right? You know what I thought about doing, Matt? What? You know how people are like, <sighs> uh, stop bleeping the swear words, the C-U-N-T word. Stop saying them? Yeah, it's hard, though. I, I seriously, uh, like, I think not to, and then I just it just pops out all the time. But what about this, mm-hmm. right? We invent our own swear word. And I thought, what sort of sounds like s and t and f u c k, cock, cock, runt, you fucking cock, you're nothing but a cock, you little cock, because cock kind of means death as well. Really, that's to, a, that to sounds a bit it. dark. I thought cock cock was like, oh, yeah, okay, isn't so cock like a yeah, that's dude a cock. That. This is cock. C a r k. Oh, tuna cock is k u c k. Cock. Oh. Or okay. see you can see a oh, I like your idea of runt. You runt. You can't. You like, little fucking runt. It's, it's like the same nothing words. Nothing beats sort of. the real thing, though. But anyway, let's mm. move on. All right. It's time, everyone, where you guys call us in. It's the voicemail segment. Play the music, Brown. Play it like you do the miners, you groom. Oh, oh yeah. Ring it with your ring. <laughs> and this is just where you guys call our phone that we have, and the number is 04666023. And if you want to leave us a funny voicemail, a story, or a confession, maybe we thought or of today. If you need love advice, yeah. If actually leave a confession in the voicemails, and you will have, or even a message explaining what you want to confess. And we will call you live and there will be a guy called Father Clint that will come in and he will host your confessions you and give you this. advice. But yeah, we we're going to get a priest. We contacted we a guy. We got a priest. An Shut actual a priest. A priest. And, he, and he, he's only, he only did the bad stuff <sighs> in his early career. He stopped. He cut it out. He, he stopped doesn't do doing that, that bad shit He doesn't anymore. do it anymore. Okay. So now with Ringing With Your Rings, we've decided since we sort of filmed the podcast two weeks before it comes out, it's going to be hard to track all the fake lines. So basically... You guys need to just impress me with your voicemails. Yeah, just just do something impressive. Send us fucking stories or something. It could be sounds. It could be yes, your own plays. Your own good. plays that you've made up. You could be characters and being like. Should a, we give them an example of a sound that w- that we would be happy to receive from you guys? Oh hi! No. Try it, Brown. Just a sound. This is brown sound. Just a sound. It's a short, sharp sound. Go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was hot. That was hot. And he sound like that us three we just done. You send that in because that's fucking funny, bro. Or, I, you know, I, I honestly, I prefer a story. Yeah, a good just, story yeah. is what I stick around for. And there has been some good ones. This is what I got from this week, okay? Now, one thing I'll tell you that annoys me is if it's probably over three minutes, Keep it short and sweet. Yeah, get into it. Yeah, probably two minutes max would be hot. One minute's perfect. But yeah, impress us in a minute, and then ba- if it's worth it, tell the story. If it's, I'm talking like Uncle was, he was rude, abusive. Yeah, he clipped your ear when you tried to make it out like his wife was he cheating. He hit you as a kid, he and his- now you're violent towards your kids. Man. If that's like that, don't do that. So here we are. This is what I got this week. So it's anything. No, it's, it's all for the Oh, yeah, so It's all about you. Bring in your ring. That's me. <laughs> it's Kelsey, the lady who has a podcast with a lot of podcasts. 
Where's my phone? Just tell them it's me, motherfuckers. I love you and your sexy wives. Sexy, sexy wives. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Kelsey? I was just saying, I think I know who that is. <laughs> she is one of a kind. Kelsey, we love you. <laughs> yeah, she was so at the live. She was very good. We yeah, got yeah, to yeah. party with her after the live show and she is one loose ring. We love her. <laughs> it's so funny that that's like an accurate representation of like what our podcast is. <laughs> yeah, just that like sort of tonage. Like if someone says, oh, look, what's the podcast about? Like someone would just do that and then <laughs> and then that's what we're about, bro. So that, <laughs> that got me going. It was because we love Kelsey so much. Oh, yeah. Matt was saying that he finds her attractive enough to breed with. Mm, you didn't want me to say anything, but I just did. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kelsey, Matt's got a crush on you, maybe. Okay, this one. If I am to be... Then who is to see me be a bee? Once I am a bee, is it truly me who has become the bee for you to see for me? Or is it truly you to be the one for me? Amen. Holy fuck. That's fucking heavy shit. Dude, I... (laughs) That was fucking beautiful, man. I saw Buddha for like half a second. He splashed in my head. Actually fully teared up then. Whoa, man. I like that. I'd never ever thought of it like that. And you can tell it's religious because it's amen at the end. God, man. I was like, I, every word he said, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you for that submission. Matt, any comments? No. <laughs> <laughs> People who only hear think that that's what his comment was. <laughs> oh, proud. That was great. Very How did good, you do man. that? Very good. That was fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking good, dude. Brown, you're on fire. Okay. All right. Next one. Whew. I sometimes stretch my foreskin over an apple. <laughs> dude, if you could fucking do that, please send us video footage dude. of that. We won't share it anyway. I just want to see it. We will fly you out and pay you. Yeah, hundred percent. And that will be a website video. If you can do that, you. Uh, I'm putting it out there. If anyone can do that, even a small apple. Fuck it. I'll even go as far as saying an apricot. If you can get your foreskin around an no, apricot, it has to be a small send apple. Send in, send in a video of you doing it, and we'll give you money. I'm not even kidding. Dude, a foreskin around a fucking. I reckon we fly them in and we make it a whole documentary. Yeah, yeah. If you can do only an if apple, it's a small apple. Yeah, if you can do an apple, we'll fly you here. We'll pay you, and you, you, your <laughs> life will change. Yeah, you can go to Hollywood, baby. You, be, you're, you will be a fucking star. <laughs> foreskin Frank. They'll be chanting your names from the streets. Oh. Foreskin Frank, oh. and your foreskin oh. will be longer than your legs, man. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's cookies clearly here. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. That's clearly, clearly a, a stone <laughs> so like reaction. Good. No, that's just very funny. No, it's not. Okay, it's just here we go. Reaction. Next one. Sorry. Hey, boys, it's Candy. Um, I have the craziest sex story for you. So when I first met my husband, um, we were having sex pretty rough once and I got um, a sharp stabbing pain in my stomach. We had to stop. Uh, The ambulance came, picked me up. We went into the hospital and they told me that he had ruptured a cyst on my ovaries from having sex too hard. Oh, my God. Um, I had to go into surgery and I had to have this cyst removed off my ovary. Hell yeah. Holy shit, shit, baby. Shit, we got to figure out. Now he likes to tell people that he tried to fuck me to death. (laughs) All right, boys, love his work. Please keep it up. Bye. Wow, that's a cool thing. That's the kind of shit we want to hear. Very good. Candy had pus. Dude, imagine this, right? Imagine this. You come out of hospital, you've just had surgery, you're covered in bandages and shit, and all your loved ones come up to you and go, oh my God, what What happened? happened? I I got fucked. 
Yeah, I yeah. got fucked. <laughs> yeah, shit. Man. That's, Holy shit. That's a hard one to tell Opa and yeah, Oma. And what about the kids, man? Yeah, well, oh, there you go. That is a great story. There Matt, you go. Yeah, I knew, you I knew like, like the sexies. Yeah, yeah. Now, here we go. Ready? All right. How many, one more or? How, two, two more, two maybe. More. Okay, here we go. Yeah, g'day, boys. Name's Mark. Long time <laughs> listener of the podcast. Uh, this one is calling. Okay, uh, got a good uh, menu story for you. Um, I'm in the line of hearing. Um, on account, um, I work with meek machinery. So if I go town really good, that's why. But um, the other day, I was with my mate. Um, and we were going down to, uh, I don't know if you know where Dick is, but we were going down to uh, Mansfield Pub. And we went down to Mansfield Pub. And um, sometimes my voice makes people think I'm a bit retarded. But it's actually just on my hearing impairment. And anyway, I was in, was in there and, um, and I had a, and I was in there and um, I was in there and um, I was in there and I was in there. I'm having a stroke. I'm having this. I'm having a, boys. I'm having a stroke when I have an end here. Boys, I'm having a stroke. Can you call an ambulance? Boys, call the ambulance. I'm having it. My name is Mark, and I'm having a stroke. Call <laughs> I was like, when I what first heard it, I was like, oh, fuck, he's putting it on. And then halfway through, I was like, oh, my God. I know. It takes you on a roller coaster, that one. Yeah, Mark. Very good, dude. That yeah. was some impressive shit. That was good talent. Our rings Did are talented. Did Mark survive? Yeah. I don't know. Our rings Look, know Imagine if it turns out that that was legit and he was actually a, someone who's just having a stroke and that was the last thing. And like full made the Daily Mail and then they showed like images of Matt laughing during it like <laughs> while he left that voicemail and then we got fucking cancelled, right? <laughs> and Matt was out on his ass out on the street. Fucking his girlfriend left him, right? And he gets addicted to fucking ice and shit. It's a possibility. Now, look, shout out to Ryan at golf. I saw you at, at uh, Pine Rivers Golf Club. He was a website man. Member yesterday, oh, Ryan, so fucking legend. fucking legend. All our website members are fucking legends. And if you want to support us in this podcast, by the way, please sign up to our website. It's twenty-one day free trial. We have so many fucking massive long videos on there. Over three hundred. You'll never be able to watch them all. Okay, there's three hundred videos unseen that we've never posted on social media. They're crazy, and it helps fund our entire operation. That website. That website is like our fucking sun, and we are the plants that kind of grow. And you guys are the are the Parents. fucking bosses of that sun bro like you, your god you hit us now and then every we single, hit each other we discipline each every other single for you website yeah, member is is our boss every single website member is our boss in a way so there and yeah so thank you is pine rivers where we played brown golf you've never played there brown <sighs> oh, man, now god yeah <laughs> <laughs> I forget it, man. It's in and out. <laughs> okay. Does this person know you're calling? Hello. Hello, this is uh, Michael and Marty from. Yeah, Marty what's up, baby? Actually. What's up, baby? Get down on your knees, baby. Is your boyfriend available this time? No. But oh can my I give god. You no, you have to Can make I? no, not unless you make a dolphin sound. Okay? Emily, <laughs> there's an example. <laughs> okay, hold on, give me a sec. I don't know how to do that. Just try, just look, try. Look, Emily, try. I'm about to hang up. I'm not even. You've got to kidding. try. Or your five, boyfriend and five seconds of it. Too. We will We're never do talk this to every your week again if you don't do this. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Not too long. And <laughs> Emily, you, you lost it think. again. You lost it again. She's probably sitting there doing it right now. Oh, She's God. probably sitting there doing, doing it right now. Too late. Emily is too late. Too slow. You must be quick. You must take opportunities when they arise in your path. You take them and you put them in your pocket. She should have been a dolphin for five seconds and her boyfriend would be so happy right <laughs> yeah, now. Her boyfriend <sighs> would have been talking to stars. She's probably sitting at home doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she probably wouldn't have heard the hangout and gone... And then heard nothing but silence. Then be like, oh, oh no, they hated that. And then she's looked at the phone and gone, fuck, they fucking gone and stitched me up again, Matt Brown. Uh, <laughs> her partner's <laughs> walked in as she's done that. And she's like, he's like, why are you doing that? Yeah, and he, she's like, it's, oh, Marty, Michael caught again. <laughs> then he has, she has to explain that she was too late. And doing dolphin sounds. He walks in go, and she's going, it's like, 
<laughs> is she all there now? Yeah, and then and get and then she's he's gonna be like, they're not there. You lied to me. And then he's gonna backhand her because he was hit as a kid, and now he's a violent person. And he Fucking probably hell, he might fault, think Michael. that he's with a dolphin. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> Trust me. Imagine I don't thinking ever see that, that you are not your girlfriend's not even human anymore. <laughs> That's crazy. She's yeah, a dolphin. You're going to get a bit teary, man. She's a dolphin, man. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> Emily's a dolphin. That oh. is so sad. Let's fucking move on. Whoa. Oh. No, 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 no. We can't. give the crow. No, we can't. We can't. I look, love dude, her. We give her a second chance. We give dolphins a second no, chance. No, look, we have to move on. Okay, we okay. can do this next week. We must remain firm in our values and stand <laughs> okay. strong for what you believe in. <laughs> we hate dolphins. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's fucking find out just how famous we are. Hit it, Matt. Hit it like you want to fucking bury a neighbor's cat. Um. Fame, fame, I want fame. What's my name? It's not a game. He wants fame. My name, it's not a game. I need fame. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, all right. So last week we said Matt Gester we're gonna message Wendell Saylor. We did. He's active right now. That's why I'm like, oh my god. So let's say something. But yeah, he's a big deal to us, Wendell Saylor. He's like he's like an ex really super famous football player, right? And we said to him, Big Dell. Adam McDougall, who is another ex-football player, just told us a funny story about you, wanted to know if it was true or not. And then he replied and said, yeah, dogs, love him, with a question mark. And now he's active online right now. So what should we say to him? Ha <laughs> ha, he said... Um, you did two backflips at the story bridge. Ask him if he's watched a certain movie that's... Sh- has he seen Love Actually? <laughs> that's a good film. Ha <laughs> ha, he reckons you've started growing marijuana. That's very good. How do you think like that? Dude, okay, I've sent it, okay? I'm going to screenshot this. <laughs> now, also, let's tell them about... We stepped it up also this week with... Our we ma- messaged... Guess who? Clint Eastwood. Do you know who we messaged? You don't? Oh, yeah, you might not know about this one. Jeffrey? He's from Jackass. And it's not Johnny Knoxville? No. Oh, my God, is it Dave England? Wow, he's very... You are a psychic. And guess what's something even cooler about Dave England? He actually isn't from England. No, if we're talking like influencer talk right now, he follows us. <laughs> he followed us, bro. So check this shit. This is the conversation is kind of cringe and I'm a little embarrassed. Oh, no. You're going to fanboy, didn't you? No, no, no. No, no I we, wish. We definitely, we quite, wish we if fanboyed. this is considered rude, if it was to anyone else, basically. Okay, look, so... <clears throat> we've messaged Dave England from Jackass. Okay. He's been in all the Jackass and we said, dude, you need your own show is what we said to him. And then he replied with wonder what it'd be like. And then <laughs> we said, I'm sure it would involve shit. You've inspired a lot of our videos. And then we've sent him a screen recording <laughs> from one of our websites <laughs> where I shoot shit over, f- over three meters, four meters, over four meters in distance. <laughs> So we sent it's him that slow video. Motion. What video is that called? Just for uh, who's people. the better shitter? Who's the better shitter? Yeah. Okay. And his response to that is, "Way to go, mate." <laughs> is that good? You reckon? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I, I don't know, man. I reckon that's like if, he, if he rude. thought it was if he thought it was funny, like he probably thinks we're just two junkies who like. Who, who Actually, like, oh, you know how some of those people, oh, Matt, in my uncle, look at this video. Yeah, he has not hearted the video. And then, they, and then they set their grandma on fire yeah, or something. Yeah, no, he bad. did hard it. Oh, if he hard it, that's okay. But it'd be nice if we got a, a laughing emoji. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. That's a shame. Didn't really feel <clears> that. <throat> all right. So anyway, so that's the conversations that we, and we're also all those maths people replied, by the way, we've read them though, right? Go. There's who a, are they? Go, do you want to hear a message from a rad maths dude? Which one? Are there Jesse. really are there really any rad maths? Jesse's people? a legend. Oh, they're all they're, they've all been super nice. Oh, uh, they're all yeah. We've, oh, we've yeah, been very a, um, Adam uh, Taylor. Jesse, I think. Uh, Jesse Burford. We got a lovely voice recording from him. All right, let's play it. Thanks for the message, lads. Really appreciate it. I've been following you and your comedy for years. Um, And it's amazing how stepping into the spotlight via mass has, you know, um, put me in somewhat of a connection with, yeah, more prominent figures like such as yourselves. 
um, I'm going to tell some of my mates that you sent me a oh, message and they're just going to be like, what the fuck, they hit you up, that's sick. So, yeah, you're putting smiles on many people's faces, lads, myself and my mates included. So, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah. Fuck yeah, we're that good. <laughs> we're we are that right. fucking awesome, everyone. We're sick. Yeah. You guys we are, are sick. Yeah. I can't believe we just played that. But yeah, we're fucking... We are fucking legends and there's proof. You didn't you weren't sure about us? Well, there's some fucking proof, okay? So someone with some celebrity just said that that we are prominent figures. <laughs> A celebrity said we are yeah, exactly that. <laughs> we uh, yeah, race of it's huge. It's all right, huge. so look. Thank you, Jesse. You're a legend. Yeah, Jesse, that is Jesse, very nice. Look, all of I the like. maps people have been pretty good. Even the one we said we were on acid to. Who was that again? I can't remember that one. That was <laughs> Dean? Oh, yeah, yeah, Dean. Yeah, we was like, we were like, oh, sorry, man, we are on acid. And then he just seen it, no reply. <laughs> anyway, oh. all right, so who shall we step it up to this week? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> now, I reckon... Let's think big. I'm ready to go big because we are big now. But should we go too big too fast? Yeah, okay, yeah, true. This, yeah true. We do, we don't we do this both. We're not both butterflies weeks. yet. Okay, I reckon let's go Princess Diana. She's yeah. dead. Oh, yeah, she's dead. She's too. She would have been perfect otherwise. I'm going to say... <laughs> oh. um, what about... Okay. The Queen? Oh, the she's queen. Dead. She no, would no. have been perfect too. She's too old. She's dead too, yeah. Um, oh, Steve oh. Owen. Oh, fuck. Can't do that, guy. He's oh. also dead. Oh, oh um, that guy from uh, Fast and Furious. Uh, what's Paul Walker? Paul Walker. Dead. Is he? One of his You're cars, at me. least. You're kidding me. No, they blew me. him up. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, all right, well, look. Have you heard of Silver Chair? Dead. That's a pretty big deal. What about what, we do Daniel Australia? Jones? Rad Australian bands. So let's go Silverchair, Powderfinger. And they're, so, they're so inactive on social media. So it's risky. Oh, fuck, we've got to think here. Come on, um, let's go and with... Can, you, can we please have some suggestions from you guys? Can, can you guys please leave in the comments or call us on 04666-02303 and give us some suggestions on who you think we should DM for this segment? Because it's hard to think of celebrities. Nicole Pratt. Who's that again? Who's that? What's the one that was with Paris Hilton in that show, oh, The Simple yeah. Life? And that's not Nicole Pratt. Nicole Richie. Nicole R- Richie? Is that it? Nicole Richie. I don't fucking. It is. It is. 7.3 million followers. She she she's fucking to us. mad. She's yeah, she's L- should we try it? Yeah, yeah. Give well, it a go. Just she's flick one try it. it. Flick one out there. Flick one out there and you guys help us, okay? All right. So we're going to send a message to Nicole Richie. What should we say to her? I reckon what we just you, say, hey, we just checked out your old show, The Simple Life, and it's so fucking funny. Would you? Laughing what, face. what about would you do another season if we funded it? No. No? Too much? Too much. Hey. Um, just want to give you I'm, a shout I'm out. I'm going to call him Nick. I'm gonna, hey, Nick. <laughs> yeah, okay, confidence. Yeah. Hey, Nick, um, just re-watched The Simple Life. Man. <sighs> That shit was funny as hectic shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <lost> <laughs> that shit was funny as hectic shit. Nah, there would be no response if we we got to keep it clean. That was so hilarious. <laughs> I just, just thought I'd see. let you know. Man, laughing that face. Shit, man, that shit was funny as. And then I got a f- sm- laughing face. And shit. so everyone, it appears we are, it is confirmed we are, uh, far more uh, famous uh, and prominent than uh, the math, so we continue to rise up through the celebrity ranks. And let's see where we finish up here. We could aim, um, we could, we could finish quite high. So it's great to see. Let's fucking uh, let's move on with the final segment, hey? <laughs> your time is there yeah, for us cut, to waste. Pick up your phone with the first day. Ah, ha, ha, it's going cold. Oh, hello, uh, my name Arnold Fine. Um, I come to uh, your store uh, last week. I buy a few things for uh, me build fence. I buy uh, wood. I buy a uh, tool. I uh, I take a shuffle. You know a shuffle? Yes. I I take a shuffle and I take home. I look a receipt. 
and I see I uh, put shuffle in car and uh, I not pay for shuffle. Okay. Okay, so I, I, I not pay, so I think, okay, I go back uh, next week, I bring a shuffle back, I, I pay for, uh, but I use a shuffle on uh, Santi sun, to put uh, for my pig farm, uh, the pig flick around, and uh, the shovel uh, it uh, snap in half, uh, the shovel break, okay, so uh, now I, I accidental take shuffle, but shuffle now uh, broken. Right. So I do not uh, know what you... I, I put shuffle it. Uh, you sell me uh, uh, sh cheap uh, cheap uh, shuffle. It break. I, I barely uh, put shit. foot on it. It's uh, a sheet uh, product. Uh, so uh, I do not know. You, I can bring back, but uh, I not pay uh, for sheet. Are you pulling my leg? What do you mean pull leg? I, I don't understand... Pull a leg. I, you understand what I say? Are you yes? joking? Are you joking? Joke about the water, sweetheart. I, I'm not joking around. Okay, I have a shuffle. I want to bring shuffle back, but yeah. uh, the shuffle break in half. Okay, while okay. I. Okay. Okay. Let me get you through. Hold on. No, very root root snake. Root snake. Say me drunk, huh? Please. Hello. Hey, how you going? Okay, hello. Who, who I speak to, huh? Makaya. Okay, uh, last uh, staff member I speak to, she uh, tell me, okay, you listen, okay, she really uh, make me upset. She tell me okay. I am uh, joking, okay? She tell me, I, she laugh in my face and tell me I am joking. I have serious problem, okay? So you listen to so me. What and, need, sorry, so what do you need help with? Okay, so I... Okay, you listen, okay? I come in on Sunday. I'll be very honest, okay? And I, I do not lie. My name Arnold Fine, okay? Pick farmer and up near Darkaban, okay? I do not lie. I come in on Sunday. I buy things for help me build a fence, okay? I buy uh, some wood. I buy a tool. I put in uh, my car. I drive home, okay? I see receipt. I have a shuffle. I have not paid for the shuffle, okay? I accidentally have taken the shuffle. I think it's okay, I come in uh, next week, I come in with the pick and I, I give the shuffle back and I pay for shuffle. But I use the shuffle on Sunday, okay? I dig a hole for a uh, pick and the shovel uh, break in half. The yeah. shovel was a sheet, okay? And it break in half. And now I say, I well, can bring shovel back, but the shovel you uh, gave me is a sheet. Mm -hmm. So do you fuck, you don't have a receipt for the shovel? Uh, I have I mean? receipts, but shuffle not on receipts uh, because I, I, uh, I did not pay for shuffle. I, I put on you and I think, oh, okay, I should pay for everything and I drive away, but I uh, look on receipt, I did not pay for shuffle. Okay. But that accident, okay, Arnold Fine is a not a thief. I do not so steal. So when you were driving away, did you look at the receipt and realize you didn't pay for the trouble? No, I come home first, okay? I unpack car, I pet pig, I feed pig, I make sure wife happy, she's sick uh, right now, she's quite sick. And I unpack the wood, I start working, I dig a hole, a uh, third uh, fence hole I dig, uh, the, the fucking uh, shovel, uh, it just uh, snap in half, uh, like shit. So I, I don't think I have to pay because if I had paid, I would bring it back and get a refund, no? Yeah, basically. Yeah, so we even, once okay? You realize, so we even. you realize you haven't paid for something, then you should come back to the store. Okay, it's a long drive for me, okay? You, you need, uh, okay, so I understand. How long it is. Okay, but uh, hey, don't, don't you come at me, pussycat. You sell me shit. You sell me shit a shuffle that a snap on a third hole. I barely put any weight on it, okay? So we bought, we bought evil shit right now, okay? We bought in the wrong. Well, but if you didn't pay for it, then what's the issue? Because I'm calling to tell you, your shovels are shit, okay? You need okay. to know, I give you feedback. You should be saying a thank you, Arnold Fine, for the feedback. Because other customers pay uh, $55 for this shit shovel. And it a snap as soon as you put a foot on a shovel. 
So you're just so you're just calling to tell me that the shovels are shit? Is that, is that all? I called to tell you I accidentally is take a shovel else? and I snapped the, the, the sheet with? shovel in in half. No, I just a okay, customer leave, leaving. Uh, and I, if you look at the footage, mm. okay, I don't want any police call. Oh, oh, he took a shovel. He took a shovel. No, no that's that's why right that's now. why I'm calling. Mm. That's why I call to make to, to make a sure, okay, that you know I de- I'm not a thief. I don't want you say that. I, 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 I don't even know who you are. No. I don't I have no idea. And, I'm not going. No. And, and, care, and that a staff honest, who really. speak to me. Huh? That staff who speak to me first. I need a home address. I need home are address. I've got work to do, so... Okay, I have five, yeah, okay, I'll let you know, okay? But I'm not a thief. Okay. Uh, we have a deal. We have a deal. We have an arrangement, huh? I'm not a thief, I, and you have a sheet of shovel. I don't... We, um, are you done now? Because I've got work to do. Okay, I'll listen. Uh, I, I am done as long I as don't you don't call the, police. Don't, rip, 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 rip. What? I am done as long as you don't call police, okay, pussycat? I don't even know who you are. Okay, I just say. How could I call the police on a mystery person? Okay, okay. No one okay, even is, though I take a shovel. No point. No, no, stop. Let me talk. There's okay. no point in okay, you calling okay. about a shovel because you didn't even pay for it, okay? Okay, I just... So, t- you're just wasting my time, okay? I just... Thank you. Goodbye. I, I was... I love you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! A shovel is shit. You even got oh. her to say that you're calling me because the the shovels is shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna go back and tell the original worker that like no, that guy was serious. Oh yeah, he wanted you your home address. You laugh and you're gonna hear you laugh a couple oh, of times. Oh really? It was too funny, dude. When you <clears throat> oh yeah, dude. Some of the shit up near Dakabin, I couldn't handle it, dude. When you said up near Dakabin. All right, guys. Oh, that is the end of episode number five. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave a five star review on Spotify. Spread the word. Tell everyone about us. We love you so much, and we love you because you guys love us, and we're one big community. We're a happy family. Nothing will ever tear us apart, and we have laughter to bring us together for the rest of our lives. And it also helps that we are the best. We're 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 the best.